So as part of the Evolve training, we will be encouraging you to keep a diary of your learning, to reflect on the things that you've discovered as you go along through the course. Now, you can do this in any format you wish. Obviously, you can use a Word document. You can write it in a physical notebook. But we have also provided um, a private space that's connected to your course that you can use. The space that we've provided is called Mahara. And you can see here that I'm within the course that you're taking. And the link into Mahara is on the right hand side. Now, Mahara is an open source ePortfolio tool. If I click on that link, you'll see the environment change a little bit. So here we've got obviously um, Evolve at the top left hand side and the profile over here on the right. Mahara looks slightly different. So let's click through and have a look. Now you can see that my information, my profile has carried through from Moodle. So Mahara knows who I am. But on the left hand side here, and also reflected in the big buttons in the middle of Mahara, there are various functions. Now by default, everything you put in Mahara is private and visible only to you. So that rather than being an open space for all course members as Moodle is, and the last site we were within, Mahara provides you a quiet space and some tools to reflect on your learning. So I'm going to click this content button over here on the left and expand it. And you can see in the list here, there's something called journals. Now, Mahara uses the word journals to describe a diary space, a private diary space. Now, if I click journals, you can see here that by default, I have what they've labeled as a blog. So this is a way of diarizing and could be used on a weekly basis to keep your reflections and your thoughts. So by default, there's one already created. I could also create a separate one if I wanted to and call it something different. If I'm going to create an entry, perhaps my week one reflections within this blog that is set up by default, I can either click new entry or I can click add one. And what you will see there is I'm being asked to give it a title. So let's say we are week one reflections. And again, I've got a text box that I can type directly into. And again, a toolbar that I can open and expand using this little arrow here. We've got a, a slightly wider choice of fonts here I can use to personalize this font sizes, images and emoticons, and I can upload images too. So let's just show you what this looks like with a little bit of uh, very quick text. I can add files to this if I wanted to, for example, and I'm, I'm not actually going to allow comments on this because this is going to be just private to me. And then save my entry. And now you can see that I've got within my default blog, I have my first week of reflections. And clearly, if you do this every week, you're going to build up a set of reflections. And the interest here that we have for you is so that you can look back. So what seems strange, perhaps, or even daunting in week one? How do you feel in week six? So this is a facility that will allow you to keep those notes as you go along. And we hope you'll be able to find some time within each week to gather your reflections. Now, coming out of the Mahara environment and back into Moodle is easy. If I come across to the right hand side, I just click return to Moodle. There we are. And I'm back in the course environment and I easily return into, into the individual course by clicking through. And you can now see in the breadcrumb trail exactly where I am. 
So we hope you'll explore the Mahara environment. You may be familiar with it already because it is quite a popular e-portfolio tool. Um, there is a help group within Mahara as well. So if you want to exchange tips or help others, that would be really helpful too.